One uh, difference between uh, this book and the camera that, that struck me, and I know people are dying to have this question asked, um, <laughs> in the Decameron, uh, the, uh, the people gather at the house to be away from the catastrophe, and the storytelling is a, is a gambit. The host says, mm -hmm. everyone else to tell a story on this day. And so when about I first, this theme, about yeah. this theme. And when I first um, heard about 10 Days in the Hills, and it was focused on the Decameron that takes place uh, just as the Iraq War is beginning, and uh, everyone is holed up at first in one house and then in, in an even more comfortable and glamorous environment, um, uh, trying to keep away from CNN and the newspaper and, um, and having a lot of sex. I thought, oh, well, there's, there's going to be that same kind yeah. of gambit, which, um, which kind of struck fear in my heart. I just thought, if I were <laughs> That's why I didn't include yeah, it. For a glamorous <laughs> week. <laughs> and, a big and they said, but the thing is, when you show up at dinner, you have to have a story, and you know, today's theme is virtue. Uh, this, <laughs> but you know, I realized, um, I realized that even, just as our times are different from Boccaccio's times, our, our idea of a worthy liter piece of literature is different. The, it's between Boccaccio and now, the novel was invented. And so um, I could not sort of use Boccaccio's you could as a movie. I think you could as a movie, but you couldn't as a novel not have an overarching narrative, not have the stories be interwoven. And so the stories occur um, in conversation. Just the way they occur in, in yeah. life. Some says, oh, that reminds me of a story. Um, and some days they have a theme, and some days they don't. It, sometimes it depends on what they happen to be doing on that day. For example, one morning, one of the characters gets up and discovers they're all sitting around the kitchen table reading the LA Times. And so what I did was find the LA Times for that particular morning. Well, talk about fascinating. There were so many interesting articles in the LA Times for that particular morning that I could make that, that certain things that happened to be true, it happened to be truly themes of the LA Times in that morning. I could make that the theme of my episode for that day. So there was some that was there was some sort of serendipitous fun things about that. One thing that's appealing about the novel being um, having such a specific uh, date and time setting is that it's it's already fascinating to to look at uh, Do you think that'd be true if it were set in Brunel, Iowa? Um, I have never been Brunel, Iowa, Palisades. so I don't know. But, but certainly, um, there's all the speaking of, oh, the Iraq, the Iraq war is, mm -hmm. is breaking out, and there's one lonely, uh, cornered conservative uh, at, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It doesn't get a lot of action, we will add. Um, we have some, though. We have some, some that but, <laughs> <laughs> um, but all, already, the, there's almost an elegiac tone. Already, they, there's a notion of innocence about the Iraq War in 2003. But they all say, oh, I don't think it's going to go that well. And you're like, oh, honey, you don't even know the half of it. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, that's another thing about the LA Times. I did faithfully read the LA Times for every day of that 10-day uh, that period. And the, it, in some sense, the disputes about the war didn't particularly change. They, they, the adherence to one side or the other uh, shifted, but the issues remained the same. So, um, so it, that sort of surprised me too because I had remembered 2003, March 2003, as being different from, say, March 2005 or or September 2005. But according to the LA Times, no, not not as much as I remember. Well, and in fact, um, one of the characters. Uh, speaks to her opposition as being so far from the um, argument that is going on about the war. She has a great uh, speech about it that I will excerpt here. Felt very San Franciscan uh, to me. I can say to the local crowd that um, in San Francisco, some of the, you know, when uh, Gavin Newsom was more conservative, say, of the two mayoral candidates, and that you feel that the political dialogue going on in San Francisco is so far from the political dialogue going on nationally that um, you feel both, both privileged and distanced. Um, but Elena says, I don't want arguments to be made 
uh, uh, before. I don't want logic to pertain or issues to be carefully weighed. I want the whole idea of the war to simply be discord for the body politic like the poison it is. And I want those who thought it up to feel sick with overwhelming nausea and horror that they somehow ingested the poison to begin with. I want them to sincerely and abjectly plead for forgiveness. Then I want them to spend a whole lot of time thinking about what happened. And I want them to make a solemn vow to change their ways and do better in the future. Um, and I'd like to say happy Fleet Week to everyone. <laughs>